Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about multiplying decimals. Last time, meron na rin tayong in-upload about this topic. Meron tayong part 1 on how to multiply decimals. You can see the link here. Or pwede rin naman dito. Click nyo mami para mapanood nyo yung ating part 1 ng multiplying decimals. And throughout this video, I will give you 4 different examples para mas master nyo yung step-by-step -step process on how to multiply decimals. So without further ado, let's do this topic. We have here a given decimal and a whole number. Ito yung first setup natin. A decimal, yung multiply natin sa isang whole number. We have 4.8 times 3. So paano ba yung step-by-step -step process ito? As you can see, this one is ano, horizontally aligned. Ang gagawin natin dito is we will align this vertically. So una, you have your 4.8 times 3. So dito, ang mapapayo ko sa inyo dito or yung magiging technique na isipin nyo dito is you need to ignore first. Yung multiplying decimal, ignore nyo lang yung mismong decimal point. At isipin nyo lang na you're just multiplying whole numbers. Again, so for example, parang isipin nyo lang na 48 times 3. Pwede mabalik natin dito. Again, ignore the decimal point. So let's start multiplying 4.8 by 3. 3 times 8, that is 24. So, we'll get 4 dito and then carry 2. Right after that, you need to multiply 3 and 4, that is 12. Plus 2, that will give you 14. So, we have here 144. Pero, tatandaan mo na meron ka ngayon decimal point. So, bibilangin mo ngayon, ilang decimal places na meron tayo sa ating given example. So, 4.8 natin, meron tayong 1 decimal place mula dito. 1. Bilang ito, 1. Pero sa ating 3, wala tayong decimal point. Meaning, if meron tayong 1 decimal place sa ating given expression, automatically, ganun din yung bilang ng decimal places sa ating product. So, instead of 144, so you have here 1. Ibig sabihin, the correct answer is 1, sorry, 14.4. This is the product of 4.8 times 3. So I hope na sa first example natin, na alam nyo na agad yung process on how to multiply decimals. So let's move on with item number 2. We have here 3.77 times 2.8. Okay, ialay natin siya vertically. We have 3.77 times 2.8 So reminder ko lang ulit sa inyo Ignore the decimal points Isipin nyo lang you're just multiplying Whole numbers So multiplying natin You have 8 times 7 That is 56 So you have here 6 and then carry 5 Multiply again 8 times 7 That is 56 Plus 5 That will give you 61 So lagay mo rin 1 and then carry 6. 3 times, sorry, 8 times 3, that is 24. Times 6, sorry, plus 6, that is 30. Ngayon, after mo multiply kung kapasin nyo, di ba, dalawang digit natin. After mo multiply yung 8 sa so 3.77, kailangan mo rin multiply yung 2 by 3.77. So 2 times 7, that will give you 14. Carry 1. Again, it's say babaw ng 7. 2 times 7, 14 then Plus 1. That will give you 15. So 5. And then carry 1 on dito. And then 2 times 3. That is 6. Plus 1. Again, 2 times 3. Plus 1. That is 7. And then, add natin yung ating product. So you have here 6. 1 plus 4, that is 5. 0 plus 5, that will give you 5. And 3 plus 7, that is 10. Ngayon, this is not our final answer. Ang last na pagkakit mo ngayon, bilangin mo ngayon ilang decimal places ang meron kayo sa inyong given decimals. So dito, originally we have the given 3.77. So ilan yung decimal places natin dito? 1 and 2. Again, 1, 
and 2. Tapos yung isa pa, meron pang isa, 1. So, ibig sabihin, all in all, meron tayong 3, 3 decimal places. Again, sir, paano nabilang yung ating decimal places? Ulitin lang natin. Sa 3.77, you have 2 decimal places, 1 and 2. Para naman sa 2.8, you only have 1 decimal place, 1. So, ibig sabihin, 2 plus 1, meron tayong 3 decimal places. At ang gagawin natin ngayon sa ating final answer, to get your product. Mula dito, mag-count ka ng 1, 2, and 3. Meaning, the correct answer or the product of 3.77 is 2.8. So, you have 10.556. This is the product of item number 2. Now, let us continue our discussion about multiplying decimals. We have your example number 3, which is naka-align na siya vertically. We have 8.56 times 2.1. So, you can pause the video and pwede nyo i-try solve sa sarili nyo before tayo magpakita na natin solution. Okay, let us continue multiplying it. So, first, multiply 1 by 6, that is 6, and then 1 times 5, that will give you 5. And 1 times 8, that is 8. Now, yung 2 naman, 2 times 2, ah, sorry, 2 times 6, that is 12. So, 2, carry 1. And then, 2 times 5, that will give you 10. Plus 1, that is 11. So, 1 and carry 1. 2 times 8, that will give you 16. Plus 1, that is 17. And then, we need to add these numbers. This is 6. 5 plus 2, 7, 8 plus 1, 9, 7, and 1. And lastly, para makuha natin yung final product natin, you need to count the number of decimal places sa ating given decimals. So, for the first decimal, you have 1 and 2 decimal places. You have 2, and then sa pangalawang decimal natin, we have 1 decimal place. So, all in all, we have 3 decimal places. So, let us count 1, 2, and 3. Therefore, the product of those decimals is simply 17.976. This is the correct answer for item number 1. We have 17.976. So let's have item number 4 for the last example. We have 2.406 times 2.3. So multiplying 2 times 3, that is 18, carry 1, 3 times 0, that will give you 0, times 1, sorry, plus 1, that is 1. 3 times 4, that will give you 12, so 2, carry 1, and 3 times 2, 6 plus 1, 7. Now, 2 times 6, 12, carry 1, 2 times 0, 0 plus 1, you have 1, and then 2 times 4, that will give you 8, 2 times 2, 4. Add natin lahat ng numbers. We have 8, 3, 3, 15, carry 1, and this is 5. So, lastly, bilangin natin yung decimal places natin. We have 1, 2, and 3, at ito yung pang -apat. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 decimal places, meaning the product of our fourth example is simply 5, point five three three feet this is the correct answer so i hope na nakuha niyo yung steps natin on how to multiply decimals from the first example hanggang sa fourth example natin and meron lang tayong uploaded video about dividing decimals makita niyo yung ating link sa ating description box and if you have any question or suggestion or naman topic na gusto niyo yung i-discuss natin within our channel, pwede nyo ilagay sa ating comment section. And kung bago ka sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa ating mga latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!